in the span of the last five hours that we have seen uh, the, the the Taj Hotel being under siege, literally along with several other spots in Mumbai being under siege. Uh, it just really tells us the amount of ammunition. Uh, after every hour or uh, 45 minutes, there would be loud explosions from the top stories, uh, which was heard by several guests who were uh, who were actually safely uh, moved to a hall in the in the newer uh, Taj Hotel building, which is right close by the one that we are looking at. The visuals of the of the flames just bellowing out of the top floor uh, near the dome, uh, the architectural heritage dome of the Taj Mahal Hotel, the old building. Really, you can see the the flames going up in smoke. This really shows the number of uh, uh, ammunition and arms, uh, really hand grenades, which are known to be low intensity. But if if, if about 10 to 15 meters uh, is the span that these uh, hand grenades can target a uh, victim. So the entire floor, uh, the entire balcony of the dome on the fifth uh, fifth story, really going up in smoke. There's just, if I can describe to you, the fire and the flames. Uh, right. We can clearly see them from here at Gateway. All the lights have been switched off. We just heard another round of loud firing as I speak from inside the building. As we speak, more loud explosions and firing, continuous round of explosions and firing from the top floor. It's echoing in uh, in this uh, uh, the old building of the Taj Mahal Hotel. The strategy now seems to be from what uh, Home Minister R.R. R. Patel just told the media a few minutes ago is that they will try and in the matter of another uh, 40, 45 minutes, they will try and come, come up with a strategy to try and surround Taj Hotel uh, really because it is a big building with several exits and entrances. Uh, this makes a task uh, for the security agencies and the anti-terror squad uh, uh, more uh, more difficult, really, and tougher for them to try and uh, get the entire manpower focused towards uh, getting into this uh, building without uh, really uh, costing them uh, any human lives, any further human lives, because we've heard that several officers, uh, we have been reporting over the past few hours, several officers of the ATS have lost their lives. Several policemen really have lost their lives. So right. Right now, their priority is to try and come up with a wiser strategy uh, that they can be one up from uh, one up on the terrorists, really, who seem to be um, knowing what they're doing. They seem to have had a plan in place.